Crazy Like Us, The Globalization of the American Psyche, by Ethan Waters is a thought-provoking exploration of the cultural exportation of American mental health concepts to other parts of the world. Waters argues that the global dissemination of Western psychological frameworks and treatments has had profound consequences for diverse societies, impacting not only the way mental illness is understood but also the approaches taken to address it. One of the central arguments of the book is that the exportation of American ideas about mental health often fails to take into account the cultural, social, and historical contexts of other societies. Waters illustrates this point with a series of case studies from different parts of the world. For example, he discusses the rise of anorexia nervosa in Hong Kong, a phenomenon he attributes to the dissemination of Western beauty ideals. In this case, the American concept of body image and eating disorders is transplanted into a cultural context where it may not have existed previously. Waters also explores the impact of American psychiatric diagnoses, such as post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, on non-Western societies. He argues that the global spread of PTSD as a diagnosis has led to the medicalization of trauma in places like Sri Lanka and Japan. While this may seem like a positive development in terms of recognizing and addressing psychological suffering, Waters suggests that it can also pathologize normal responses to adversity and overlook culturally specific coping mechanisms. The book's analysis of the globalization of American mental health concepts raises important questions about the universal applicability of these ideas. Waters highlights the danger of assuming that what works in one cultural context will work in another without considering the unique cultural and social factors at play. This can lead to a form of cultural imperialism, where Western ideas about mental health are imposed on other societies, often with detrimental effects. Waters also examines the role of the pharmaceutical industry in the globalization of American psychiatric treatments. He argues that the marketing of psychiatric medications to a global audience has led to the medicalization of everyday life problems. For example, he discusses the widespread use of antidepressants in Japan to address issues like shyness and social anxiety. This pharmaceutical approach, Waters suggests, may be driven more by profit motives than by a genuine understanding of the cultural dynamics at play. Another key theme in the book is the idea that cultural narratives play a significant role in shaping how mental illness is experienced and expressed. Waters provides examples of how the introduction of Western diagnostic categories can shape the way individuals in other cultures perceive and express their psychological distress. For instance, he discusses the influence of the American media in promoting narratives of individualism and self-expression, which may not align with the collectivist values of some non-Western cultures. Waters' work also highlights the power dynamics at play in the globalization of American mental health concepts. He argues that Western experts and organizations often hold significant influence in shaping mental health policies and practices in other parts of the world. This can result in a one-size-fits-all approach that neglects the voices and perspectives of local communities and experts. In conclusion, Crazy Like Us, The Globalization of the American Psyche, by Ethan Waters offers a compelling critique of the exportation of American mental health concepts and treatments to other cultures. Through a series of case studies and critical analysis, Waters demonstrates the complex ways in which this globalization process can impact societies and individuals. The book raises important questions about the need for a more culturally sensitive and context-aware approach to mental health that takes into account the diversity of human experiences and the unique cultural dynamics at play around the world.